Welcome to Neville TV with the brand new Apple iPad 3 outdoor usage scenario and comparison to a bunch of other devices. We have the brand new tablet here. It's not here, it's right here in my lap. It's a little bit thicker than the old one, but the display is just amazing. Not only the display, but the camera. You can check out our first video actually live from the line, which is lining up to get a new one. We were the third in Munich to get it. So this is the new device, Apple iPad 3. Looks kind of nice, but it's the same from the outside actually as the iPad 2. So it's just a little bit thicker, but if you have never had the iPad 2 in your hand, you will not see the difference because it's not even that much heavier only 40 grams so we have a beautiful retina display actually on this device we have on all our um, videos now um, on all our testing devices this website open which is tech focus if i go even closer i don't know if my camera will ever recognize it but um, you don't see many pixels i don't th I think you don't see any pixels i can go as close as i want with my head it's just like it's printed on there and as you can see the sun is shining here in directly on the device and it doesn't matter how you tilt it you see a lot from the screen so this is the ipad 3 or the new ipad and we of course have the old or the ipad 2 here the one not really really not really because well actually it's the same display as in, in this one so let's put it like this so this is the old one this is the new one you see both of them the sun is shining on them and from the front if we tilt them you can I think see the difference of course same side same brightness maximum brightness on all the devices we are showing you right now and yeah as I, as I showed you even from the side it's all the same so that's not much of a difference let's leave the um, new one here and we have a little bit smaller devices by Android HTC Flyer which is really nice maximum brightness here same side but it's not as bright as the new iPad which uh, actually can work up to 10 hours if you charge it completely so you see it from the front from the side a little bit from the other side a little bit from the bottom and from the top the sun is shining here and we will of course show you the device alone with the sun shining on it when we have a little bit more um, details uh, in the big background and on top and now let's show you the worst device actually for an outdoor scenario i don't like it very much the samsung galaxy 7 plus actually n in germany but 7 plus so we have a lcd display in here and as you can see the colors are not the best it's a little bit washed out and we have from the side really not enough viewing angle and it's really not enough bright as far as i would say i don't know if you have yeah the content is still there so it's still the same side and i mean you can read the, the samsung but it's just not comfortable not because of the size but we also have something you will say um, might be interesting a laptop with a matte display I know this is not a Mac um, it's not the thinnest device and we don't even have our website running right now so let me open that up right now for you um, but I still think this is a pretty interesting um, comparison because a lot of people just say why do I need a tablet maybe the iPad 3 will be the reason why I need a tablet so let's open up tech focus we have the maximum brightness already and okay we have some dust on here so let me show you this is half the brightness half the resolution almost or well, maybe 70% um, of the resolution you have on here if you would hold it like this it flips of course and you can see the difference I think this is maximum brightness here and this is the maximum brightness there of course it can be uh, a HP problem but I mean come on from the side um, I guess you see the difference um, I hope you see the difference Still, matte displays are great for working outside, but the iPad does a really good job and not having so much glossiness be on here. And I will just show that to you by grabbing the camera and going here on the green. So you can see a little bit more of that. If you wouldn't use it on maximum brightness, like, or if you have some trees in the background and the sun really directly shining on it, it would look like this. I think I can still read everything. Let me put it down and let me show you how to, for example, put only a few percent of brightness on here so you have a longer battery life so let's say 50 percent perfect actually still about 40 percent well not the best for your eyes and less well that's way too less so let's stay at least at 40 45 percent and then you will see you can still see it perfectly even with your camera going really really close let me go to this picture 
or any text. You can't see any pixels, it's just crazy. So thank you much for watching Level TV. This was the Apple iPad 3 in an outdoor user scenario. I hope you liked it, the comparison. Check out more on Endevil TV. Actually, here is our logo. Till next time, please tune in again.